welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I write the blog Megan's Moda. So today's video is one that I've been excited to film for a while now. And it is about the Max Mara Icon Coats. And since these coats are definitely an investment, um, I feel like a lot of people, including myself, want to do a little more research and see them, you know, modeled on people and whatnot before they make that kind of an investment. So I'm going to share with you the two that I own today and try them on so you can kind of see how they fit, etc. There are three icon coats total in the Maximar collection and I own two of them. So the ones that I have that I'll be talking about today are the Manuela coat and the Madam coat, also called the 101801 coat. So the third icon coat is the Teddy coat, which is super cozy looking but really kind of too oversized for someone like me. I'm only 5'4", like barely 5'4", so I tried that one on and it just didn't look as good on me, so I don't have that one. Let's start with the Manuela coat. This was my first Max Mara coat and I love it just as much today as the day that I bought it, which was about three years ago. So the Manuela coat is a 100% camel hair coat. So the word camel is literal here. Um, it is very warm despite being like it looks thin, but it is very warm. It has a silk lining, which is really nice because it slides over anything that you're wearing underneath. It has a belt that is attached with two thin loops. And this is a more fitted style. Out of the three icon coats, this one is the most fitted. So I will put this on for you. You can see how it fits. It has kimono sleeves, but they're not too fitted, so if you don't like super oversized coats, then this is the one I would definitely recommend for you. So as you can see, the arms are loose, but not too loose. So you can still wear like sweaters underneath, um, and it's going to go right over, and the silky lining also really helps with that. I cuff my sleeves because I'm petite, so I have to. But also like the look that it gives. So if you want to close this coat, there are two buttons. One here on the inside, the button's here, and then one up here at the top. Honestly, I never button mine. I guess if you were, were really cold, it would help. But I usually just tie it with the belt, and that's it. So I'm gonna show you the way the associates at Max Mara taught me how to tie this belt, like the Max Mara way, which looks pretty cool. So you just make a regular loop, but then you take the longer portion and take it halfway through like that. And it just makes it look a little bit cooler. So that's how I like to belt it. Again, I don't have this buttoned. But if, again, you were like in cold weather, you could flip up the collar and button it right up here, the top. So you can wear it like that or button it and put the collar down, but it just provides some extra warmth at your neck. As far as sizing, I am wearing an Italian 34, which is a US zero. And this is the smallest size that the coat is available in. So that's to give you an idea of how this fits. Um, a lot of people say they like to size down in this coat. 
it's really up to your personal preference. I would definitely recommend going to a store to try it on to see what you know you prefer. But that's the size I'm wearing. Um, this also comes in black, navy blue, and red. So now to get into price. This is again the Manuela coat and it retails on the US Max Mara site for $2,950. I did not pay that for my coat, so I'm going to tell you um, my little secret for getting these coats at a much better price. Maybe it's not a secret to some people, but um, if you don't know, now you do know. So if you go to Europe, you will get the best price um, possible on Max Mara coats. I purchased this coat in Rome, Italy about three years ago. And I paid what came out to just over 1100 US dollars. Okay, so like I said, today it retails on US Max Mara website for $2,950. That's a pretty big savings, right? So my advice to you is if you really want one of these coats and it's, you know, obviously a huge investment, your best bet is to pick one up if you happen to go to Europe. Not only is the price already much less because they add so much um, import on it for the US or in other countries, but you will also get a tax discount. Okay, and here's how the tax discount works. So if you go to the store wherever you are in Europe, um, you buy your coat, ask them to do the tax free for you. And how that works is you'll buy the coat, you'll already get a better deal on it to start with, but then you will take all the paperwork that they give you for tax free. And when you go to the airport, you will find a tax free kiosk. Usually it's global blue, it might be something else, but for me it was global blue. And when you're at the airport the day that you're flying out, you present all the paperwork and you will get a tax rebate, which is usually upwards of like $300 um, if you're in the US, $300. So there's an additional savings on the coat. So like I said, if you really want this coat, um, best bet is to go to Europe to get it. And one other thing that's really important to remember when you're trying to get your tax rebate at the airport is to have the merchandise on you. Do not check your coat and then try to go get your tax refund because if they ask to see the merchandise, you don't have it. So make sure that you have it on you when you go to get your discount. Okay, on to our Next icon coat. This is the Madam coat, also called the 101801 coat. This is a purchase that I just made in December on a trip to Europe. Actually, found this in Budapest. Um, I have been lusting after this coat for years, so um, I was really, really excited to find it. And honestly, the one that I thought that I wanted was a beige color. But when I saw this ruby red and put it on, it looked amazing. So I totally changed my mind and decided to go with the red. So out of the three icon coats, the Madam coat is the original icon coat. Um, it was launched in 1981 and actually brought back a couple years ago. This is a coat that looks good on all body types. It has a double breasted front. It's oversized with kimono sleeves and it also has a belt. Now the belt is not attached. so. Um, it's kind of a downside because if you're not careful, you could end up losing the belt. But there is a little loop in the neck. So 
it's best to just kind of tuck that in there when you're not using it so it doesn't get lost. You could also put it in your pocket, but I really honestly don't like to do that just in case for some reason, God forbid, it falls out of my pocket. Um, that would be devastating, so I just prefer not to do that. But I actually think it looks better with the belt, so I usually have mine tied anyway. So I'm going to show you what this looks like on. So first, I'll put it on without the belt. So you see the type of oversized silhouette that it has. This also has a really nice silk lining. So here's what it looks like just open. So you can see this is very, very roomy. I'm wearing a zero. This is the smallest size that it comes in. So you can see how nice and roomy and big it is. So a lot of people like to size down in this coat. But that's what it looks like open. I prefer to button mine most of the time and wear the belt. So here's what it looks like just buttoned. Not as much shape to it. Okay, kind of boxy. So I usually like to wear mine with the belt. And like I said, there are no belt loops on this, so you really have to be mindful of where you're keeping the belt when you're not using it. So here's what it looks like with the belt. This is such a classic coat. It looks so good on everybody. Petite people, tall people. It's just so chic. Um, I love the sleeves because you can wear just about anything underneath. And there's plenty of room. It's really comfortable. I do cuff mine again because I'm petite. Looks better with a little cuff. So I like to think of the Madame coat as like the Chanel classic flat bag of coats because it is one that will be around forever. It's so special. It even has a little patch sewed on the lining, which I'm going to show you, that tells the story of the coat. So let's see, get up closer. So inside it tells the story of this coat and how it launched in 1981. And it just makes it really special. I remember when I got my first Chanel bag, it also came with um, a little book about the bag. And it just kind of makes it special and you know signifies how classic it is so that's just to show you one of the um, trademarks of this coat and the madam coat also comes with its own special hanger and dust bag so um, the hanger says 101801 as well as the dust bag so those are also just two more things that, um, you know, signify how special and timeless this coat is. And as far as composition, the Madam coat is 90% virgin wool and 10% cashmere. So it is not itchy at all. It is nice and soft. Um, and it's also dry clean only. So I want to touch on that for a minute. So both of these coats are dry clean only. The label says do not, you know, wash with water, etc. And so this coat, first or second day that I had it, we were at a Christmas market in Europe and I looked down and there was a little spot of like mold wine or something at the bottom of my coat. So I kind of free freaked out about it and was um, calling I called Max Mara to see what they recommended so I was told to have it professionally dry clean which I haven't done yet because actually um, I dabbed at it a little bit and you don't really even see the spot anymore but I am definitely going to have it taken to a dry cleaner but one little trick that I have 
for when you're out and you might get some raindrops or something on you. Um, take a little piece of tissue. I like to carry a tiny little piece in my pocket. And if you get some droplets on your coat, just take the tissue and like gently press on them and it will soak it right up and you won't even see a mark at all. So I just keep a little bit of tissue in my pocket for that reason. But I don't recommend wearing this coat if you know the weather's gonna be bad. So that's just, you know, worst case scenario. And One other thing I found when I did some research online about caring for wool cashmere blend coats is this wash and stain bar by The Laundress. I honestly have not used it yet, so I can't give you, um, you know, an honest recommendation yet, but this is supposed to be good for spot cleaning. So again, not something that you, you know, you don't want to wash this coat fully. This is just for getting spots like if the neck of your coat gets dirty or, you know, like I had happen like a little stain, you're supposed to be able to just kind of rub it on there and dab it off, but I have not tried this yet. Um, I just saw really good reviews for it. Okay, pricing. This coat is one of the more expensive coats that Maxmar makes. So this one retails on the US Maxmar website for $3,890. So definitely an investment piece. Again, I purchased mine in Europe. So I will tell you what I got my coat for. I purchased this coat in Budapest and the price was $2,426. So already saving a ton just by going to Europe to purchase the coat. So that was the starting price. And then I got my tax discount at the airport when we left. So when we left, I presented my paperwork and the tax discount was $357 and 51 cents if you're interested. But again, that's a not nothing to sneeze at. So, um, you know, if you're really interested in this coat and you're going to Europe, it's the best time to get it. So, of course, you can buy it in the United States, but just realize that you're going to pay a whole lot more with all the um, import cost on top. So, to wrap up this video, um, yes, Max Mara coats are expensive, but they are timeless. They are called icon coats for a reason. You will wear this coat for 10, 20 years, pass it down to your daughter, which is what I'm planning on doing. Um, so they're definitely an investment worth making if you want a quality piece of outerwear that's not going to be outdated in a couple years. So because they're so timeless and look great with everything, I don't feel the need to buy other coats. So cost per wear, I'm definitely, I definitely feel like I'm getting my money's worth from these coats. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys that are shopping for Maxmar Icon coats. Uh, let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Hopefully I cover most of it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye.